Saúl Familia, Angel Anderson here with Omar from Tampa City Boxing. And let's talk about why motivation is BS. Yes. Why motivation <laughs> is BS? Is it something that Omar, we were talking about, I came here to help him with email marketing. Uh, he gave me a training session, by the way, I'm out of shape. And then he dropped this knowledge bomb on me. He said, motivation is bullshit. Why? Why? All right, I'm going to take this back a couple of steps before I answer that question. <clears throat> All right, there's a bunch of content out there right now, a bunch of motivational content, you know. How many of you watch this certain content? How do you feel after watching this certain content? And after watching this certain content and watching this and having this great feeling of euphoria, motivated, how many of you actually go out there and take action on your feeling? That's the question. That, like, that feeling you get, that's motivation, you know? But failure to do anything about it, you know, a lot of people get motivated, but... They fail to yeah, take action. They fail to take action. That's why, I feel, that's why I say it's bullshit. I feel like, really, in place of motivation, it should, the word needs to be discipline. So, let's say I'm motivated. I, w I want to do something, but I'm failing to take steps. What, what would you tell me? So, see that, all right, so let's say you're motivated and you're just like, hey, or just, this is, this is what happened to me. I was, I was about 19 years old and I told my trainer, hey, uh, I'm losing my motivation. I don't really want to train as much as I used to. Well, I used to be a boxer. I don't want to train as much as I used to. And his reply to me was like, hey, is it motivation? Is it motivation you're lacking? Or is it discipline? When, when he put it to me in that context, I was able to realize that, hey, I was just lacking discipline. You know, I did not want to do what I had to do to get to where I wanted to be. And to answer your question, you have the motivation, like you know where you want to go, but you don't have the discipline to take action and get to the steps where you want to be. And that is why I say that BS, that motivation is BS, because like you can have motivation and no discipline and like get absolutely nowhere, but you can have discipline and no motivation and still get to a destination. What are your results by having no motivation, but discipline. What, what results have you achieved by having, when you had no motivation, but discipline? Just overall, let's say I have a certain goal. Perfect example. Last week, I wrote a paper for my management class. I was completely unmotivated to do it. Did not want to do it. I had no feeling for it. But the discipline that I had, that I knew what I had to do, I knew what had to be done for me to write an A paper, I just went through with it, got some help, ended up getting an A for a paper that I had absolutely no motivation to write. Let's, put, let, let's do another example. You were a boxer. So when you were not motivated to box, but how discipline allow you to keep winning? Because you, when you, when you ended your career, you, you were at the top, right? Yes. All right, so here's the thing. The way motivation helped me, so it came to a point towards the end of my career where I knew that I really didn't want to do it anymore. But I had the discipline to know that I didn't want to lose. So, I just took the steps necessary to do what it took to win, even though I didn't really want to do it. To you know, I think I think we can end, we can we can stop right there in business and in life. Why we why would you want to lose if you you've been here for seven years, and if I'm not mistaken, the first couple of years you were not turning a profit. Yes, but. You kept, you kept at it, you kept, you, you, your discipline, you open, you kept doing what you needed to do, and now you're profitable. 
you are, you, you are a successful business owner here in Tampa. If, you, if we're talking about personal, why you want to be a loser in life if you know what you need to do to be a winner? Right. And when it comes to business, the same thing applies. Why you want to have a business? When you want, why you want to lose some business when you know what you need to do to be a winner? Just draw a map where you add it when you need to be and start taking steps in between. Right. Exactly. Exactly. It's um, it's really simple. It's not that difficult. Where do you want to be? Do what it takes to get there. I would, like, I would like to know what you think about motivation. Do you agree with Omar that it's BS, or do you think that motivation is something that you need to achieve what you want to achieve in life? And let me know in the comments down below. And like always, my name is Angel Anderson. Here's Omar from Tampa City Boxing. By the way, if you are in the Tampa area, definitely come and check out Tampa City Boxing. Where's the address? It's up. Just look it up google be <laughs> google maps i will drop it i would drop it in the description down below and like always if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing hit the, hitting the notification bell so youtube can let you know the next time i upload a video with that said my friend like share comment and i'll see you in the next video peace out